to notice my uh, my microphone was off. So if I didn't say it, if I didn't get it the first time. Almost sound like a repeat to you guys, but good morning. I was talking about the uh, length of time the uh, battery for the remote on the uh, GoPro runs. Not very long. But anyways, had a good ride up north uh, Saturday. I mean, perfect weather. A lot of bikes out. Um, there's a lot of farmland up that way. Microphone or not. But anyways, again, NT8, if you uh, know any difference on charging that battery for the remote, um, again, what occurs is um, if it didn't record the first time with audio, is that uh, you plug it in, it, it's clocking the battery, you can see it ramping the battery charge, and then all of a sudden it'll act like uh, it's a serial symbol come up like a surgeon for the GoPro or the Wi-Fi pack and it's like how can you be charging if you're looking That's using energy so I don't know if I'm charging it wrong uh, if there's some process to go through I gotta look at the book again I kind of really didn't read the book but anyways uh, it don't last very long I know that it's really awesome to have but it just don't last very long I understand it's new too, new technology and all that stuff, but you think that remote would last a lot longer. It doesn't really function or do anything, but running a little LCD display, um, you know, I mean, it's, and it's talking to the uh, Wi-Fi pack company. If it can't handle doing that for very long, that's sinks. But anyways, uh, I'm on my way into work and wanted to chat about that a little bit. Um, had my in-laws uh, up from Virginia over for a couple weeks, stayed at our house, and they're heading back this morning. They got a nice 10 hour drive. I'm heading into work. She's going to be a scorcher today. It's 77 degrees right now. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. But it's supposed to be up to like 93 or something like that. And tomorrow's supposed to do the same thing. I don't care. Bring it on. I don't care about the heat. The humidity I don't care for too much. But I, I don't care. I bring on the heat. Because the alternative is on, on its way. So. You know. It puts a. A short stick on the riding season here in Michigan, but anyways, it is a pretty morning though. Looking forward to enjoying the day a little bit. Even though I'm going to work, but Can't afford to retire, so might as well enjoy what I'm doing, you know. Might as well enjoy going to work. I work another probably another ten years, maybe. Depends. Got two and a half to go, but in the state of Michigan and the economy and everything else with medical insurances and all the other scary little things that could bite off that pension. I don't want to fall victim to so I'm gonna kind of hang in there and I like my toys so I can't 
can't really start buying toys when you retire too much so while I'm working I can so um, I'll just uh, suck it up and do it you know not much traffic on the route I take uh, our highway M59 well, my exit to um, get on it on the, is is in the morning is nuts I mean it's nuts in a car so I won't even go there on a bike I mean it just and people are they're stupid um, typical everybody late for work crap or in a hurry to get nowhere um, so I don't even go there. I take a different route, kind of the back way. It's a nice quiet ride. I don't have all the, uh, all the white knuckle drama stress to deal with. Just a nice ride. And I get there. I get where I gotta go. Just that way. I mean, I, if I gotta do highway, I gotta do highway. But I, if I can do it without it, I will do it without it. Don't like highways. I just, I mean, supposedly technically they're safer, they say. Because you kind of have an idea what's going on. The side roads and got hidden driveways and things like that are, are your little animals that can get you but they can knock you off your bike uh, merging in too or taking your lane too but I think you got a better chance than I always seeing that but as long as you're paying attention but anyways uh, enough about that I uh, worked on my, uh, put my horn in, and my job of putting it in kind of came undone. So, looks like I got to take it back out, uh, back apart. My efforts were almost for naught. So, I'm going to take it out, figure out what in the Sam Hill I did, and come up with a better idea. I got I to gotta work on it again. So I'll probably do a video, especially um, on the Majesty site and other guys uh, asking how the heck you put this thing in. I come up with a way, but I thought I had the uh, air tubing out of the way enough to um, stay out of the way of the forks, but apparently not. So now I got a come up with a uh, a better routing scheme gotta route it the tubing a little better and I actually secure it to the, the actual horn um, now I know the exact length basically in a nutshell and I'm gonna change the tubing out anyways because I got a fitting in between where I can separate them but it's really not necessary to do it. So I'm gonna take that out. It'll allow more airflow. So it's kind of an improve, I gotta improve on what I've done. Well, it's work in progress, and so I might do a video on it. And uh, see if I can come up with something better. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But, it didn't work the way I got it. So, back to the old drawing board as they say. Well, I'm getting ready to uh, pull in my work 20 here and it's like I got a, a lost citizen here.
has no clue where in that sand mill they're at, so I'm going to buy by them. Yeah, going a little faster than I'm supposed to. Yeah, that's even, now I know what my speed is. Thanks. Pull me over and I'll turn your dang radio off. <laughs> Anyways, shouldn't have speeded, but. Many hoots. Hope everybody has a good day. Uh, ride safe, but ride. How many other guys will ride in today? Got a few of them that ride. They were afraid to ride yesterday because of the rain. Storm coming in, but it's a storm. It comes in and comes out. Goes out. I said, yeah, and that's what the rain suits for. But anyways, everybody had a good day and uh, it's Lord Vader out.